United States of America. The Star Spangled Banner is the national anthem of the United States. The lyrics come from the defense of Fort Henry, a poem written on September 14, 1814, by 35 year old lawyer and amateur poet Francis Scott Key. After witnessing the bombardment of Fort McHenry by British ships of the Royal Navy in Baltimore Harbor during the Battle of Baltimore in the War of 1812, Key was inspired by the large US flag, with 15 stars and 15 stripes, known as the Star Spangled Banner flying triumphantly above the fort during the U.S. victory. The Star Spangled Banner was recognized for official use by the United States Navy in 1889, and by U.S. President Woodrow Wilson in 1916, and was made the national anthem by a congressional resolution on March 3, 1931. Brazil The melody of the Brazilian national anthem was composed by Francisco Manuel da Silva, and was presented to the public for the first time in April 1831. On the 7th of April 1831, the first Brazilian emperor, Pedro I, abdicated the crown and days later left for Europe leaving behind the then five-year-old emperor Pedro II. From the proclamation of the independence of Brazil in 1822 until the 1831 abdication, an anthem that had been composed by Pedro I himself, celebrating the country's independence. And that now continues to be an official patriotic song, the independence anthem, was used as the national anthem. In the immediate aftermath of the abdication of Pedro I, the anthem composed by him fell in popularity. United Kingdom God Save the Queen is the national anthem of the United Kingdom and one of two national anthems used by New Zealand since 1977, as well as for several of the UK's territories that have their own additional local anthem. It is also the royal anthem, played specifically in the presence of the monarch, 
of all the aforementioned countries, as well as Australia, since 1984, Canada, since 1980, Barbados and Tuvalu. Saudi Arabia In 1947, because Saudi Arabia did not have a national anthem like many states did, King Abdul Aziz of Saudi Arabia visited Egypt and asked Egyptian composer Abdul Rahman Al Khatib to create a national anthem, and thus A.S.H. Al Malik was created. The melody is based on an Arab fanfare style, and is similar to the national anthems of other Arab states in the area at the time. In 1958, Muhammad Talati wrote the first set of lyrics which were not often heard, so King Fahd asked poet Ibrahim Kafaji in 1984 to come up with a new set of lyrics, which were completed within six months on the 29th of June 1984. Kafaji's lyrics are the ones that are used officially today. Saudis listened to their anthem for the first time during the celebrations of Eid in 1984. Israel The Hope is a 19th century Jewish poem and the national anthem of Israel. The theme of the romantic composition reflects the Jews 2000 year old hope of returning to the land of Israel, restoring it, and reclaiming it as a free and sovereign nation. Its lyrics are adapted from a poem by Naftali Herzimber, a Jewish poet from Zlokhsau, today's Olachu, Ukraine, which was then in the Kingdom of Galicia and Lower Romania under Austrian rule. Imber wrote the first version of the poem in 1877, while he was a guest of a Jewish scholar in Yashi, Romania. Pakistan The Qaumi Tarana, Thy Sacred Land, is the national anthem of Pakistan. It is written by Hafiz Jalandhari in 1952 and the music was produced by Ahmad Ji Thaglai in 1949, preceding the lyrics. Although, this song is in Urdu, the anthem has heavy Persian influence, and only uses one exclusively Urdu word ka.
It was officially adopted as Pakistan's national anthem in August 1954 and was recorded in the same year by 11 major singers of Pakistan including Ahmad Rushdi, Kaukab Jahan, Rashid Begum, Nazamara, Naseema Shaheen, Zawar Hussain, Akhtar Abbas, Gulam Adas Tagir, Anwar Zaheer, and Akhtar Wasi Ali. Bangladesh Amar Sonar Bangla is the national anthem of Bangladesh. The lyrics was written by Bengali polymath Rabindranath Tagore in 1905 while the melody of the hymn was adopted from the Baul singer Gagan Harkaral song Ami Ko Thai Pabo Tare Set to Dadra Tala. The modern instrumental rendition was arranged by Summer Dad. Nepal It was officially adopted as the anthem on August 3, 2007, amid a ceremony held at the Conference Hall of National Planning Commission, inside the Singhadar Bar, by the Speaker of the Interim Parliament, Mr. Subhash Chandra Nimwang. The previous Nepalese national anthem, Sri Man Gambhir had been adopted in 1962, but it was dropped following the abolishment of the monarchy. The music was composed by late Amber Gurung. The national anthem is simply worded, praising Nepali sovereignty, unity, courage, pride, scenic beauty, progress, peace, cultural and biological diversity, and respect. In August 2016, BBC ranked Nepal's national anthem third in its list of Rio 2016, the most amazing national anthems, citing its musical differences compared to other anthems. India Janaganamana is the national anthem of India. 
It was originally composed as Bharoto Bhagyo Bidhata in Bengali by poet Rabindranath Tagore. Later, it was written in Sadhu Bengali or Tatsamma Bengali which is heavily Sanskritized. The first stanza of the song Bharoto Bhagyo Bidhata was adopted by the Constituent Assembly of India as the national anthem on the 24th of January 1950. A formal rendition of the national anthem takes approximately 52 seconds. A shortened version consisting of the first and last lines, and taking about 20 seconds to play, is also staged occasionally. It was first publicly sung on the 27th of December 1911 at the Calcutta, now Kolkata, session of the Indian National Congress. Russia The state anthem of the Russian Federation is the name of the official national anthem of Russia. It uses the same melody as the state anthem of the Soviet Union composed by Alexander Alexandrov, and new lyrics by Sergei Mikhailkov who had collaborated with Gabriel L. Registan on the original anthem. From 1944, that earliest version replaced as a new, more Soviet-centric, and Russia-centric Soviet anthem. The same melody, but without lyrics mentioning the denounced Stalin by name, was used after 1956. A second version of the lyrics was written by Mikhailkov in 1970 and adopted in 1977, placing less emphasis on World War II and more on the victory of communism.